Hey, this is Cedric, and I want to welcome you to the Sunday Freebie Video Training. This video is number six, and in this video, we're gonna need FileZilla to upload the page that we already done in the previous video to our server. So you should already have a FileZilla install. We did it in video number two, what you need, part number two. Okay? So you will also need um, your, um, your domain name URL, which should be obvious but also your username and password to access um, your cPanel. But in this case, we're gonna access your server via the FTP program file Zeta. So in the previous video, we left off on this page here. So that's the download page. And we need to put a link right here, okay? So I'm just gonna open file Zeta. So make sure you open FileZilla so you can follow um, the video. So now that FileZilla is open, you need to connect to your server. So that's where you're gonna enter your domain name. Okay, you can go just simply your domain name. So for this video, I'm gonna use one of my domain. It's called am4newbies.com. So I'll just enter my domain name right here. After that, you're going to enter your username. Normally, your username is part of like your domain name. So mine, it's something like, like, like this one, I think. And you enter your password. But I already registered all this information. So for me, it's just going to be a quick connect. If you don't connect right away using only your domain name, like, like this one here, you just put FTP dot your domain. Okay. So for me, like I said, my information I already did it here, so I'm gonna just do a quick connect. And once you connect, after that, FileZilla is gonna remember your info, so you just do a quick connect, so it's very, uh, very, very fast. Okay. So right now, so this part here, the whole part here on the left is my computer. So you see, I already have some file. So my documents already open, but let me just go to my desktop. So you see my desktop right here. Okay, and this part here, that's the server. So that's uh, the file on your hosting account. So the first thing we're gonna need to do, is go public HTML. Okay, that's always the first thing you do, you're gonna click public HTML. So I'm gonna double click on it, and that's all my file that are online. So this is a old domain, I think I probably own this domain for, I don't know, five, six, seven years. So there's a lot of things, but if it's a brand new domain for you, you will have almost nothing in there okay so now it's just a matter of what exactly you want to do so let me just go here and i gotta show you an example like oops sorry let me just go here okay so right now i'm in the root that means i'm going straight to my my domain name okay am4newbie.com okay let me just go back here. I probably have another squeeze page. So here's another one. Let me just copy this here. So this one is in the root. So directly under public HTML, if you want to work from the root, we're going to upload your file there. Well, in my case, since I already have something there, I'm going to work from a directory. So when you work from a directory, your URL, your, your URL will look like, let's say, I am for newbie.com. And that's going to be my directory. So I have another squeeze page right here, okay? So that's how we're going to work in this video. But if you want to install everything from the root, I will show you also. So if you want to install everything from the root, it's very easy. Once you're at public HTML, you're just going to upload your file right here. So you're going to be in the root. But in my case, like I said, I want to work in a directory like the one I showed you before. So I'm just going to click here at the top. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna open this one here, this little tab, and I'm gonna click here, create directory. Now I'm gonna name this directory. So for this video, let's call this uh, Sunday, just for, just for fun. So we're gonna remember Sunday. So I'm gonna upload everything in Sunday. So now see, I have my new directory here. So I'm gonna click Sunday. Now it's empty. Okay, so if you want to, uh, like I said, if you want to uh, upload everything in the root, you just go public HTML, you upload everything there. If you want to create a directory like I did, you just create the directory. And now 
I will go to let me just go back here now everything will be am for Sunday but right now I have nothing see I just opened the directory now the next step it's I'm gonna go to my desktop so desktop because I know my file is there so that's my computer here okay desktop next step I'm gonna locate my file start start a blog opt-in page since our page are there and I can upload I will upload everything so because you all you you always need an index file in a in a folder okay let me just show you an example let me just I'm gonna upload this one here so confirm you also need to uh, upload the CSS and the image so you can go one by one by one like I just click on it upload and see it's uploading so right now it's on my server I can do the same thing with the images I'm gonna click on it upload and now I have the images on my server okay if you don't do this let me just show you an example I'm just gonna delete them delete delete now let me just go to so that's gonna be my URL here confirm.html let me just copy this here so I'm going to am4newbie.com that's my directory here Sunday after that's gonna be the URL so yeah you have to remember that so we're gonna use notepad to enter your or, or, or URL uh, later so let me just go back here now I have Sunday let me just copy this here confirm now say I have my page but the page look funny because you don't have your uh, your CSS file so let me just go back now I'm gonna upload there if you want to upload them together you just click the first one after that control you click the second one after that you click you right click upload and it's gonna upload everything and let me just go back and I'm gonna refresh the page so you will see the change see now with the CSS file everything worked perfectly so important so our page is online right now so if you follow uh, the video you have your first page online now let me just go back to FileZilla I'm also gonna upload let's say the index file upload and my download page my download uh, not my download page I'm gonna upload my thank you page upload since those pages are ready to go okay now let me just go back and I will show you what we did so right now we are since we have an index file we can go directly to am for newbies.com Sunday and see boom now we have our squeeze page ready in the next video we're gonna put the form here okay so if I just go back and take let's say my thank you URL thank you copy I'll just go here and there's a reason why we're working backward we did not do the squeeze page first since we need this URL so see that my, my page uh, say access I did not change um, this one here but anyway I'm gonna change that later let me just go back here sorry okay so my page is ready we also have the come from page that's ready to go okay so the next thing we're gonna do it's in the last video we left this page without a download link so that's what we're gonna do right now okay so let me just go back to my desktop here because I need to grab the special report that we're gonna give away okay so I'm gonna go special report now there's two ways to do things you can just give the PDF or you can zip everything and give a zip file so we're gonna do both first of all maybe we're gonna rename uh, the special report let's say how to blog profit or you can you can do anything okay that's a PDF file okay so let me just go back to file Zeta now I'm gonna go back you can always go back to your desktop it's always easier desktop now I'm gonna go my folder my folder again my special report now I have the PDF right here I can upload this PDF so I click on it upload PDF now you just click on it because you want to uh, to have the the title of the PDF and since you upload a PDF your link is gonna be see how to blog for profit PDF look so let me just I'm gonna click once on it I'm gonna wait click another time I'm gonna just copy 
After that, I'm going to click away because I don't want to change the, the title. So let me just go back and show you what we did. So you always have to remember the path. So it's in, in our case right now, it's am4newbie.com. We are in the directory Sunday, so it's Sunday. And after that, it's going to be the PDF, the PDF file name here. So let me just show you that live here. So there you go, am4newbies.com, Sunday. I'm just going to cut paste my the rest of the link here. And I'm just going to copy everything, open notepad. You want to remember your link, so let me just copy this here. HTTP for forward for slash. So that's the URL of my PDF. So let me just go here. Now I'm going to click, boom. See? Now the PDF is online on my server. So am4newbie.com, Sunday, how to blog profit.pdf. So let me just go back. Okay, let me show you how to zip this file now, if you prefer to give a zip file. So we're going to take uh, this folder. And let me just, well, I'm going to keep the same name. I'm just going to take out the space here. Special report. Now I'm going to click on it, okay? I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go send to compress zip folder. Okay, let me ju just do that again. I'm going to go to my folder, a special report. I know my PDF is inside. See the PDF is inside. So I'm going to go special report, right click, send to compress zip folder. I click on it. Boom. Now I have a zip file. It's a compress file. It's a compressed zip file. Let's go back to file zeta. Let's go back to our desktop. Locate our file once again. Now, see, I have the zip file right here. So I can do the same thing. I'm going to click on it, upload, right click, upload. And now I have the zip file on my server. So let me just, once again, I click once, click another time, copy. No, I'm just going to click away. Let me just go here. So the path will be the same. am4newbie.com forward slash Sunday forward slash the title of my uh, special report dot zip. Okay, let me just grab this URL one, once again. And now I'm going to click and boom. See? Now I can give my, um, my PDF in a zip file. So people normally save those files, so that's why I prefer this method the, the, this way to uh, to give away my PDF. So they're going to save the file. If they don't watch it uh, right now, they may watch it later. If you just give away the PDF, they open the file. If they don't save it, it's done. So they cannot go back unless they keep your, your download uh, URL. So I'm just going to cancel. And now in this video, you just learn how to upload your file to your server. We create uh, a PDF link and we also create a zip uh, file link. Okay, so let me just go back. Now we're going to go back to Composer. So I left this page open from the previous video. So that's our download page. Now we have to choose which link we're going to put here. Let me just, there we go. So that's my link. So you have the choice. So you either give the PDF away or you give the zip file away. So in my case, I'm going to give the zip file away. I'm just going to copy this URL. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on download. After that, I'm going to go link at the very top, link. And I'm going to click my link. Boom. I'm going to click OK. And now I got an error because I don't have an alternate text, but I, I don't want that anyway. So don't use OK. So here we go. So we're done. So our download page is ready to go. Let me just, uh, I'm going to click file, save as. I want the same name, but let's see. We're going to change the name because it looked like too obvious download. So let's say download uh, report uh, blog. Okay. So I'm going to save this one here. Now I'm going to go back to FileZilla. So I'm just going to click here. You have a refresh button here at the top, just under server. You have like some, some arrow. So refresh the file and folder list. So I want to refresh. After that, I'm going to go back up to page. 
and now here is my new uh, the new name of my new uh, download page so download report blog .html. I'm gonna click on it right click upload and let me just now the file is on it's on my server but let me just delete this file I'm gonna show you another way gonna delete this file another way you can just let's say click this link after that you, you keep your finger on your mouse and you just drag the file so that's another way to do it so the file is on my server let me just now I'm gonna copy my URL since it's very important you will need the, those URL when we're gonna work in the next video so that's gonna be my download link so you just try to keep things in order so you, rem you rem remember okay and after that I have my my thank you page if you're using double opt-in in your case it's gonna be uh, the confirmation page that we did in the previous video so that's it for this video now you know how to upload file to your server and we just create our first two page our first two page are online we also hook uh, or download page with uh, a zip file or a PDF. I show you how to upload uh, PDF and a zip file. So it's very easy. So you just have to make sure you have your uh, your domain name, like I said, your username and password. If you don't know how to get your username and password, just go back to video one. I'm gonna put some additional video um, how to work your domain name and hosting account. But you all you should already have those information. After that, you just quick connect. Make sure you always upload file to the public HTML so that's the first thing you have to locate public HTML you click twice and now you're in your public HTML like I said if you want to work directly from the root you're gonna upload everything here like I did in this video we're gonna we I'm working from a directory so it's the directory Sunday so all my file are right here let me just show you once again so we have everything ready so that's gonna be the squeeze page right here we just have to put the form once they're gonna opt in after that they're gonna go to this page right here that's gonna be at, at your thank you page too so thank you for signing up and then thank you for your interest boom and we have our offer right here so if I click on here boom I can make some money okay and once they're gonna receive the email from my autoresponder the very first email it's gonna say it's gonna tell them to uh, to click a link and the link will bring them right here congratulations where they're going to be able to download the zip file download boom so they have their freebie and once again i have a chance to make some commission from this promotion but like i said in the previous video you can put anything right here i just put my own product because it looks obvious for me but you can promote anything and so in the next video I'm going to cover how to build the squeeze page. So we're going to need uh, your autoresponder code. So in my case, like I uh, already mentioned a few times, I'm working with Aweber. So I'm going to do it with Aweber. But it's just a matter of pasting your code into the squeeze page. And once this is done, we're going to have our funnel ready to uh, rock and roll. So thanks for watching. And I see you in the next video.